Hello and welcome to Nuclear Omnium. So what I'm going to do in this episode, just go through some of the commands that you can use um, to, um, to they're, they're basically, uh, this is like a core mod, so it basically includes, uh, several, you know, commands. So if we do, for instance, slash TPS, and we can see that I've created um, these uh, different ages, and you can see we've got an age here, age four, which is the one I've just come out of. Um, and you can actually directly um, teleport to each of these different areas. Um, so for instance, if I just wanted to go straight back there, what I would do is I'd do TPX, I'd put the age number, I'd put my my username, and then I would put wherever I want to go in that particular world. So say I want to go to 258, 250. Um, is that not the command? Subject, player name, target player name. No, maybe it's the other way around actually. There we go. So I'm going to go back into this world. Um, hasn't put the right coordinates in there. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's not a bad landing spot there. Um, <laughs> this is funny. Um, yeah. And then, and then, um, and then, if I want to go back out, I go to the overworld. So I go put put my name, target dimension. Um, um, well, not that, uh, and then like that. That should take me, for some reason doesn't have it, obviously doesn't say at the moment correctly, but after a few seconds it will just reload it and I'll be where I want to be. So yeah, so there's that. Um, now you can also go to the nether in this fashion. Um, yeah, so we'll do that. So as you can see the nether is minus uh, one, so I'll put minus one. Now with the nether, it's slightly different. So for instance, if I wanted to go to the point, say 100, 120, 100, um, what I'd need to do is basically divide the coordinate I want to go to by eight. So let's just pretend it's, you know, just for simplicity's sake, I'll just say it's 96, 120, 96. So in that case, what I would do is I'd put an eight here, um, and then I would put 120, and then I'd put eight. So because it's obviously the, the X and Z corners a bit. So that should take me into the nether, uh, round about 100, 100 on the X and Z, 96 it will be. So let's see if that's going to work. That took me to 8. Oh yeah. So if I wanted to go there actually, it would be... Yeah, it would, yeah 96, yeah. you have to divide by 8 rather. So if I wanted to go to, to 96, it's going to be that then. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, and that's the way to get around the nether. Just you just divide it by eight to get to do that. Um, and I can go back into regular world, and then yeah, and that will put this put me in the right coordinates there. And then the next thing I want to do is, um, if I just, well, it's not the best ground for it, let's just go somewhere else actually. Um, if I just do a very brief Twilight Forest pool, So I'll jump into the Twilight Forest. And let's try and just sort of go around all the other. So basically, from what I can tell anyway, the uh, you can go through the Overworld, Nether, and the uh, Mistcraft Ages, but you can't do... Um, but yeah, with Nether, you have to change the coordinates. Um, Twilight Forest, I believe, is, is similar to the Overworld and the Miscraft Ages. 
So I'll just wait for it to load. It, doesn't, it takes about 20 seconds for it to load. But yeah, what, I mean, I'm trying to think what else I have to say about this. Yeah, this is like, this this thing, Nucleum Omnia, is like, it's like a core mod and it supports various other mods, which I'm actually going to be covering in other videos and other, other series. Um, and it's, you know, it's like a backbone sort of thing. Um, but yeah, it does do the ticks, you know, the ticks per second. Uh, um, obviously, there's 20 uh, ticks in a Minecraft, uh, you know, well, in a, well, in a second. Um, according to Minecraft, there's 20 ticks. Um, um, so let's just see what we've got. So we can do, if we do TPS now, um, you can see it's registering. Hmm. It's not actually, it doesn't, for some reason, doesn't register the ages here. I guess they get unloaded. Um, but yeah. So I could probably go through. So I think I probably I'd I'd want to go back into the over, either the overworld or the nether um, if I didn't want it to go to a miscraft age, but yeah, this is a um, similar sort of thing anyway. Um, so it's it's basically seven. So if I wanted to, but obviously if I did if I just wanted to go somewhere around here, um, uh, is that right? Yeah. Okay. If I, wanted, if I just wanted to go somewhere around here, I'd probably just use TP again, I think. And that would be local to where I actually am. So that'd be, yeah, so that would work fine. So there's obviously, you can use TP or TPX. If you use TPX, I think you do have to specify um, the dimension though. Um, this may actually work with dimensional doors as well. I haven't covered that yet, but I'm not sure if that works like that. It might well do though. But yeah, if I wanted to go back to the overworld, I would just, um, I could just do that. And so we're back in the overworld now. Um, now, um, okay, so it's still registering that. I believe it was four, wasn't it? The uh, miscraft age. So let's go back into the miscraft age. There we are. Um, hmm. So what's going to happen if we do TPS now? Okay, so it seems there's any... Hmm. But then can I go from here? This is the question. Can I go from here? Um, we'll see. <laughs> Let's see what happens. It may, you may need to go... No? That seemed to work all right. Let's try the reverse procedure. Yeah, it looks all right. So yeah, so that's basically um, all I really wanted to do in this uh, episode, just to show sort of traversal between um, different dimensions. So until next time, thanks for watching.